Hi, in this lesson we're going to create our first controller. Normally when programmers create their first code it will always display hello world. So in this lesson we're going to create a hello world controller. We will Initially, demand were created most of their codes using these pipelines. But in the later part, when Salesforce acquired demandware and became Salesforce Commerce Cloud, they were moving into controllers. These controllers are JavaScripts in nature. As you can see, these are existing controllers of Site Genesis, which are useful and may be extended to however you want. But in this lesson, we're going to create our own controller. So first off, we're going to go inside this training cartridge and controller. Right click, new, select controllers going to call this controller hello world and don't forget to add extension dot js click finish it will create the hello world javascript or the hello world controller Now whatever you see in here will also reflect in the storefront. There it is. Hello world JS. Now let's just remove all this to avoid confusion. I start with this. Most controllers are using strict, so we'll just keep it that way. We'll use the first line as a strict. Now we're going to create, we're going to export a function. which we let's call it start and definitely most of the functions in the storefront is by default start this time we're going to call it uh, public I'm going to call it public later so we're going to create a function here that will be displayed in storefront. We're going to call a response. We're going to set the content type. text slash HTML. We're going to have another response. I'm going to use a get writer function. And we're going to print a line called hello world. Now this code is happening within the controllers. So in order for this to be exported to the storefront, we need to call another function. And this time we're gonna make it public and set it to true. 
No, normally when you're still exporting in your when you're starting, you need to set the function in as small letters as possible. And when you export it to the public, it has to be big letter. So let's save this. And let's go to the storefront. Let's just back this up so that we are in the business manager view. Okay, a few more. Oh, and we're out of business. Cut. And we're back. Okay, let's just open the storefront. Let's just close this other tab to avoid confusion. And enable this storefront. Okay, so how do we see our controllers in the storefront? Let's just click this, yes. So this is the URL. Before we call the controller, we need to add a locale or the language here so if we have set a default language we can use default language here and we're going to call our home oh, I'm sorry we're going to call our hello world controller here and press enter and we should see the hello world. I didn't expect that. Let's go back to our codes and see what could have been wrong here. Exports. I think we need to make this this big letter as well. Let's try it again. And there's our hello world. Okay, this method here is not really recommended. Directly placing the HTML to the storefront public. This is uh, not the best practice. The using this respond get writer what SFCC is using is to generate this response to an ISML template which we will cover in the next uh, later video so let's try to add some h1 tag here first and see how it looks save it let's go back to our storefront Refresh. So it's an h1 tag. So basically whatever HTML tags we add here will be reflected immediately in the storefront. That is how UX Studio works. So let's add another more. Let's add the style equals text align center and color red save it let's go back to our storefront refresh and it is centered and it's colored red so that's our first controller next lesson I will discuss with you how we push this data to the template but before that let me just show you where that start goes this start right here is by default showing 
supposedly showing here. If you want to change it to sh something else, for example, you want to say uh, show, show me. You need to change this to show me as well. Save it. This this hello world alone is not going to work. Because the default method up here is supposed to be start. So but if we change this to show me it's going to be displayed. Alright. So let's go back here and change this back to start and start. And then in the next lesson, let's see how this is done using a template.